So we'll start trimming on the front end. We'll take a good look at her hoof capsule here. As you can see, she has a lot of heel stack. We're going to bring her heels back to about here. Clean her toe up a little bit. She doesn't have a lot of length. Just kind of straighten up her whole hoof capsule. One of my best friends is a wire brush. Clean everything out really well. Whoa. Like to use a loop knife, just clean up the rattiness of her frog. I like to leave it as straight up and down as possible. Oh, sis. Hey. Clean out the central sulcus. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Then slowly start cleaning up my soul. My bars. See the corn. And stay out to the edge of my white line. Got a few little dark areas in the bar here. Want to clean them out and make sure there's not an abscess brewing. But I don't want to take large, large chunks away. Toe length's already at three inches. Whoa. We're testing out the Whoa. new diamond nippers. What's this? See, got a little black spot here. Whoa. I always just like to take a quick peek. Before I start rasping. Using the top level or prime level. Whoa. Whoa. Clean my edges up, start shaping my foot. Looking for a nice uniform wall thickness. Whoa. Let her stand for a second. 
stuff. So after I get done with my trim, I always like to sight my feet, grab them by the back of the knee with my inside leg, let it hang as naturally as possible, in line with her body, and take a quick look and see what I need to finish up on my trim. Need to bring the outside heel down a little bit and a little bit on the inside toe. And as you can see, I did not take, get, hardly touch the sole at all. Concentrated all my knife work up here on the white line area. I have a fairly nice uniform wall thickness. And this is a fairly good start for first time. So once I get my foot trimmed, we'll pull it forward and dress it also. But we'll, I like to use a flexible tape to measure my shoe size. So right about 13 and 5 eighths, 13 three quarter, a little over five, three. We're gonna try a new shoe today. The SX-8 Bold Toe, it's got a wider toe selection, it's blunted out a little bit more. It's got a nice five nail pattern. And the aught here sits, fits right at 14 inches heel to heel. So I know I can grind a little bit. We can look at the double aught and compare it on size. These shoes come double lot to twos. So the double lot is 13 and 3 eighths. I prefer to have a little bit more than not enough. So something I also like to do is I grasp them by the back of the knee and just let the hoof, just let the leg hang. And I can get an overview of my coronary band and then look where my distortions are on my hoof capsule. Since I've already, dre or I started building my wall from the bottom of the foot, I can just dress down to my, where I have it beveled to. Use the edge of my rasp to check dishes and flares. Just a little bit. As we slide down, we can see we got starting to get things a little bit more under control. Then we'll shape our shoe to fit that foot. So about one third, about three eighths back from the apex of the frog. As you can see, we have two inches here. We're at three inches here. So I'm pretty happy. Then we can use that also to see how our Hoof capsule lines up pretty much dead on. Two and a half, two and a half. 
use the frog, the center of the frog. Build my hoof capsule around that. Just gotta open the toe a little bit. The heels around. So as you can tell early on, this mare had never been hot fitted before and was trying to leave the scene. So we're just going to fit it up the rest of the way. Cold, off the stall jack. And since this is a speed, young speed horse, we're not going to give her a ton of expansion and stuff, just a little bit. Then we'll box it up. So one of the things I like to do, once I get it boxed up, or fit up, then I like to mark. This way I'm not guessing with my grinding. Or if I have a worker, helper, I mark it and throw it to them, and then they can see what needs to be ground off. Got her fit pretty tidy. So one of the things that took into consideration of this mare's conformation, and she had a really uh, dominant uh, medial toe flare, so I concentrated my grinding really heavy on that side of the toe, take some stress off of that, then also come around and ground up the rest of the toe too, to give her ease a break over. And then just put a nice little boxing on the back, on the heels and We're going to use the five slim by Liberty. 
with the CU texture or cover on them. Fit down in there very nice. Nice pitch. So just clean up my seed of corn, my bar here. Check where she had that little bit of blackness. Feeds her in the bar there. We're gonna put some CS Plus. I like to fill anything that I dig out. Using the Liberty seven, number seven driving hammer. Tack two nails in, set her down, take a look at it. I've got a nice bit of expansion on the inside, got a good base, good shell for her to stand on. My shoe's in the center of my hoof, the center of my, fro or my frog's in the center of my shoe. Pretty happy with that. Nice tidy foot like this, I'm only going to put four nails in it, even though there's no clips or anything. I feel it'll be on there secure. Less nails, less damage to the hoof capsule. <laughs> 